When people ask us why we don't use sleeve pullers for pulling dry sleeves, this is why. Our customer is in the middle of an overhaul on their 1950s 172 cubic inch Ford engine, but as you can see, they had a little bit of trouble when trying to pull the sleeves. Luckily, they knew when to stop and brought it to us before things got too far out of hand. In the past, we've seen significant amounts of damage from failed sleeve pulling attempts, but we're thinking that this block is going to be okay, so we're getting it cleaned up so that we can get it mounted onto our boring and surfacing mill. Block mounted, we'll go ahead and set the cutter up and bore the sleeves paper thin, such that they're easy to break out with zero damage to the parent bore of the block. This revealed some pretty poorly cut counterbores for the sleeve flanges, so the counterbores will need to be recut. Before doing that, we're gonna square up the deck surface of the block, and some dicum really helps show just how far off this one was it actually took 16 thousandths to clean up. Next, we'll go ahead and cut nice square counterbores to the specified depth for the new sleeves. And believe it or not, that's not all that's wrong with it. So if you wanna see that, the full video is up on YouTube now. 